In this tutorial, I want to solve an example of back titration. We have eggshells which are impure calcium carbonate. In this example, you have six grams of that. First thing we do is we crush the eggshell, put it in a flask. So imagine these are eggshells. Then we add excess amount of HCl because we don't know how much uh, CaCO3 we have to add exactly. So excess HCl. The first reaction is your calcium carbonate, which is CaCO3 solid, plus hydrochloric acid reacts to give you a salt, calcium chloride, aqueous, plus water, plus CO2, gas. And if you put two as HCl, coefficient of HCl, the reaction is balanced. Since you are producing gas, CO2, once there are no more bubbles being produced, you know the reaction has come to completion. What we do next is do a simple titration. So imagine this vertical line is your burette. And inside this burette, you have sodium hydroxide. Some indicators, of course, is added. The reaction goes to completion. We stop the burette. And the second reaction is as follows. You have sodium hydroxide, which reacts with your excess or leftover amount of HCl to give you sodium chloride, a salt, plus water. First thing I want to do is see how much HCl I uh, used for the second reaction. Then I will find out how much HCl I had at beginning. Subtract the two, I know exactly how much HCl I used for calcium carbonate. Find moles of calcium carbonate, then mass of calcium carbonate, and compare it to the six grams of eggshell. So information of NaOH is as follows. 25.5 centimeter cube of 1.5 molar was used. So concentration is 1.5 mole per decimeter cube. The volume is 25.5 cm cube. Number of moles of NaOH is simply concentration times volume. Of course you have to take three decimal places to the left to have the like units. So this is 1.50 mole per decimeter cube multiplied by 0 0.0255 decimeter cube. If you do this, your answer is 0 0.0383 moles of NaOH. So I have moles of NaOH. Now it's one to one, so moles of HCl in the second reaction is exactly as is. So moles of HCl used in neutralization is also equal to 0 0.0383 moles. Now let's find out how many moles of HCl we had to begin with. So moles of HCl to begin with or initial is simply volume of the HCl you used in excess and its concentration being multiplied. So then again concentration times volume, which is 2.50 mole per dm cube, multiplied by the volume in decimeter cube, which is 0 0.050 decimeter cube. And this will give you 0.125 moles of HCl. Now if you subtract these two numbers, then you know exactly how much HCl was used for calcium carbonate only. So moles of HCl used in first reaction or for CaCO3 is simply point. Uh, 125 minus 0 0.0383, which happens to be 0 0.0867 moles HCl. Now I have enough information. What I'm going to do is use this and my balanced equation and find out how many moles of calcium carbonate I have. So I st uh, since it's two to one, you can realize it's just divided by half. But as usual, I'm going to work it out. So point, uh, 0 0.0867 moles of HCl times, for every two moles of HCl from our equation, 
one mole NaOH is used. Uh, sorry, one mole calcium carbonate is used. If you stop here, you simply find moles of calcium carbonate, multiply by molar mass, and you have the mass of calcium carbonate. I'm doing exactly that. Molar mass of calcium carbonate is one calcium, one carbon, three oxygen, approximately 100 grams per mole. And if you carry the calculation uh, through, you get 4.33 grams of calcium carbonate. That means this is how much calcium carbonate you have in your six grams of eggshell. So the last thing to do is to find percent. Percent is nothing but part divided by whole times 100. So it's 4.33 grams divided by six grams times 100 which is approximately 72.2%. So 72.2% of eggshell is pure calcium carbonate. The remainder is our fillers and other chemicals.